hey there everyone welcome back to lead coding in this video we will be solving the question number two of lead code weekly contest 213 the name of the problem is count sorted wall strings so we are given an integer n we have to return the string of length n that consists only of vowels that is a e i o and u and are lexicographically sorted a string s is lexicographically sorted if for all the valid i, s of i is same or comes before s of i plus 1 in the alphabet. So for example, if the given value of n is equal to 1, so we have to form the string of length 1. So we can form a string starting with a. So this is one string, then a string starting with e, then i, o, and u. So the string which are starting with a, the number of such strings is 1 and the strings which are starting with e is also 1, same with i, same with o and same with u. So in total we are having 5 such strings. So these are the strings which are of length 1 and which are starting with these alphabets. Now let us say the given value of n is equal to 2. In this case we have a string which is starting with a and this string can have another a then it can have an e i o and u so these are the two length strings which are starting with a and they are lexicographically sorted next we can have strings which are starting with E so and after E we can append another E then I then O and then U so we have four such strings which are starting with E and are of length 2 and are lexicographically sorted with A we had five such strings and then we will see the strings which are starting with I I O I U so we have three such strings and we can see that if you want to find out strings which are starting with O we will have only two such strings and with U we will have only one which is U U so in total we are going to have 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 so these many strings in total and similarly if you want to go for the length 3 we will observe a pattern now let us see what that pattern is so this problem is uh, mostly based on the pattern recognition you have to recognize a pattern so this is for the length one the strings which are starting with a e i o and u so we have only one string starting with a one with e one with i one with o and one with u this was when n is equal to one when n is equal to two now when n is equal to two with u we had only one string with o we had two strings with i we had three with e we had four and with a we had five such strings now when n is equal to three then we will see that with u we are still going to have one and that will be u u and u with o with o we had two strings with a length two and those strings were o o and o u now in this o o string we can append another o or we can append a u so two possibilities will be there o o o and o o u with o u we are going to have only one possibility and that is o u u so this is lexicographically sorted and these are sorted as well so we will have two possibilities with this and one possibility with this so in total we are going to have three now with i so with i the length two strings were i i i o and i u with i i we can have another i or o or u with i o we can have o or u with u we can only have u so we have three possibilities for this two for this and one for this so three plus two plus one which is equal to six similarly for e we are going to have ten possibilities 
so you can write on that yourself and with a we are going to have 15 possibilities now how we are getting this so we can observe the pattern that the term which is here is the summation of these two terms and the term which is here is the summation of these three terms the term which is here is the summation of these four terms and the term which is here is the summation of all these terms so similarly when n is equal to 4 we are going to have 1 so the number of strings which are starting with u of any length is equal to 1 and here we are going to have the summation of 1 and 3 which is 4 here we are going to have the summation of these 3 which is equal to 10 and here we are going to have 20 and here we are going to have 35 and so on so this is the pattern that we need to recognize so if we want a value let us say at this position we have to traverse from this till the end and we have to sum them all but instead of doing that what we can do is we are calculating from the back side and if we are calculating the value at this position we already know the value at just previous position to this so we already know the value of this and this is the summation of these two terms so we don't have to traverse all these terms we can just add this term with this term and then we will be able to get this term so this is what we have to do so we can keep a vector of size 5 and initially we can put the value 1 in all of these and then we can generate subsequent vectors by updating these values so now let us see with the help of a code that how we can implement this so now let us see the code I'm creating a vector of type int this is going to be my answer and I will initialize this with 1 now I'm going to traverse for i is equal to 2 i is smaller than or equal to n i plus plus now I will be starting from the index 4 which is the last value and it will be 1 so let me start from the index 3 i is equal to 3 i greater than or equal to 0 and i minus minus we are calculating for the ith index so answer of i so answer of i is going to be the previous value of the answer at the i position so which is the value of answer i itself plus the next value which is answer of i plus 1 so this is the updated value and finally we can return the summation of this so for or to a belongs to answer return plus equal to a and finally return ret and let us take an integer ret and initialize this with 0 and let us try to run this now so we are getting correct answer let us try to run this on other test cases so answer plus equal to all right yes so now we are getting correct answer let us try to submit this now and it got accepted now talking about the time complexity we can see that we are running a loop from i is equal to 2 till i is equal to n so this is basically big o of n in terms of time and we are using extra space but the extra space is of size 5 so it is a constant extra space that we are using so we can say that in terms of space it is a constant space solution so this is it for the video if you like it please subscribe to the channel and please share it with your friends I will be uploading the solutions to other problems from this contest as well so don't forget to check them out thank you Always on my mind I could be alone But you never far from sight As far as we go Through 
through the darkest night I hope it 